Hi there. I thought this would be a great opportunity to talk about key in painting. I had a question this week from a student, and so I wanted to put together some visuals to show you about key. Um, and what key in your painting means is you might have heard the term uh, low key painting or a high key painting. And it all refers to the values that you use in your painting. And so here I've got a value scale from zero to 100. And I think this is, this is a 11 a squares. Um, sometimes you'll see it represented as one to 10 or one to nine. And, and it really doesn't matter. It's just showing you that um, all of the values in the bottom half and the lighter values um, are high key values, and then all of the values in the upper area here are lower key values. Um, so some artists choose to make a decision about which values to use in their painting. So they may have a reference photo or be painting from life that only has darker values or mostly, mostly dark values, or they might have a painting uh, uh, or a reference that has just lighter values, and that would make it a high key painting. Um, as you advance through your career, you will be able to even adjust uh, from what you are seeing in your reference or your still life and skew your painting one way or the other. But for right now, let's have a look at uh, a painting of mine that I did a few years ago of uh, this heron. And you see that I've only used um, a majority of the values are in the, in the lighter, lower half of the value scale. And there are some uh, darker values, but they're minimal. And they're very crucial, they're very critical in the painting because you can imagine the painting without those higher value accents, it would be probably a little flat. And, and I think that uh, the, that's you know a way that this works, really. If you had all low key values, it wouldn't be as impactful. It wouldn't create as much form in your painting. Here's a painting that I also did a few years ago that is a low key painting. So you see that all of the values are pretty much in that that darker uh, area of the value scale and, and just um, some lighter bits really in the middle and in that top middle one. And, and it makes for a very um, moody maybe painting or dramatic or or you can envision a uh, nocturne painting done this way. And so it's it's really quite a, a lovely effect, you know, either, either way you go. And so I wanted to bring this back to my student's question and this was her painting, which she um, said, you know, I'd like some help, uh, any suggestions. And so I asked her about the reference and she said that she had gone to uh, a show and saw this, this reference on the right and, and came home and um, this particular student is, is very comfortable with painting from her head. Um, and so she wanted to recreate the feeling that she got from this painting and so she was wondering if maybe she should have um, if her if her leaves should be darker um, you know she definitely knew she wanted to do a blue vase like she had seen and so she was looking for a little more um, you know advice on, on which way to go so I thought this would be a good opportunity to share um, this example and talk about a low key versus a high key painting because um, I think this painting on the right, her inspiration painting, is rather a um, high key painting. It has a majority of uh, values that are in the lighter half of the value scale there. There are some darker bits, right? And they, they, they um, you know, they serve a very important point as we talked about. So what should Margie do here on the left? to um, you know, make her painting more like what she has in her head on this, this, this one on the right. And I think that if we look at first, uh, you know, she's got a good drawing, she's got a good composition, she's got good shapes. Um, I think the values, uh, the value shapes 
could be a little more well defined. For example, look on the on the right, we see very defined shapes of value that is not broken up by other values. You know, the, the vase, for example, the 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 background, um, the even the, the blossoms are very light values that are not interrupted except in the middle part by uh, a, a change in value. And that's what I mean by when I talk about value shapes is that you kind of have to squint your eyes and combine some of the values into a larger value shape to get that form, to get that, that real great feeling of unity in a painting. And, and, and this painting on the right has such a nice feeling of unity because of that, because of these wonderful value shapes that are, you know, you could draw, you could draw a, a Sharpie around them, right? So in Margie's painting, I would say, Margie, think about that and, and try to make your value shapes something that you can draw a Sharpie around. Um, so, so make them specific. Don't, don't mix them up so much uh, together and, and make them more individual shapes like like this one on the right and i think that would be really helpful because you've got the you've got the key right you've got all these great lower values going on i think you have a nice variety of values uh, similar to your inspiration photo maybe the lightest light in these blossoms in the upper right could be even lighter and give you that 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 added sense of um value change with because it's real important you're only using a handful of values right so that lightest light you know you, you need to take advantage of, of getting that in there really really nicely um and, and i think that with just a few little changes um you know this could could bring your painting all together could be what you're looking for and you had specifically asked about the, the leaves if you should darken them up and I would say maybe just a little bit. Maybe, maybe don't make them as dark as your darkest darks in here. Um, I would say maybe make them a little in between. Maybe the color of the va or the value of the vase in your inspiration photo could be the value could be the value of your leaves in here, just to give it a little bit of of change from your blossoms. And then I really like how you've got this upper area of uh, dark value in the upper left, and that is. That's a pretty nice dark shape that you've got in there, right? So I want to see more of that in your painting, um, and, and I think it will, will really, really bring it all together. I did want to share with you one of my favorite painters of um, light, and I think that's really important when we're talking about these, these high-key paintings is that they do help you to have just a, a beautiful feeling of light in your painting, and this is um, Soroya, and he's known for his paintings with light, and you see that that the majority of his values in this painting are in that lighter end of the, the value scale, and it just works beautifully. And I always say, you know, these black and white photos that you take tell you so much, and, and can't you just see the light in that black and white? And so, you know, you know you're on the right track. You know you, you've got your colors and values right if it looks right. So I hope you enjoyed this little mini lesson on uh, high key and low key values in a painting.